discipline and move as quick as he can move. And, you know, he got a chance to be special. How would you compare his, his technique now versus when, when he first came in? I think, you know, I think Coach Lawrence did a great job with him. Uh, I think early, you know, did David want to play off strictly ability and athleticism. And I think now he's bought into Coach Lawrence teaching, uh, you know, the second part of his uh, first year here and then uh, last spring. And then, of course, when Coach Adam got him this year, I, I think he's buying in totally. What's, what's the most amazing thing you've seen him do? I mean, a guy runs a 4-4 four -four and, you know, goes up Michigan running back up. I mean, what's, you know, something in practice or weight room or whatever that you've seen this? Well, actually, I saw him make a play in the Florida game. Uh, they put a, a non-quarterback, what we call a pig, at quarterback spot, and they ran the zone read option. He took the zone read play. He, then he made the quarterback pitch the ball, and he ran down the pitch guy. He took all three phases. Pretty uh, impressive. Has he changed kind of your standard of what's impressive? I mean, it's, you know, you just got to have to well, again, like crazy. Huh? I, you know, I think Clowney is uh, a player like uh, a Michael Jordan or, or a LeBron James or any dominant athlete in any sport uh, that comes along every so often. So, you know, it's when we win. Yeah, I remember Derek Thomas. I played with him in Alabama. He was a great athlete. Kanias Ben was a great player like that too. But you know, I think this guy is, is special. Are you tired of talking about him? Yeah, again, I'm, I'm not tired of it because again, that's a part of it. You know, I know the boss is tired of him, and, uh, <laughs> but that's you know that's the boss. And, but you know, the young man is is deserving of of uh, I guess all the praise he's getting. And, but again, it's it's not going to help him this season. He got to go play. Now, those other defensive linemen on that line besides Clowney, who do you see of those other guys that could really come out in a breakout year? I think all of them have a chance. You know, people are going to gear up their protection to Clowney, and that should leave the other guys in uh, at least two of the three remaining in one-on-one -on -one situations. And, you know, we expect to win those one-on-one -on -one battles. You know, and that's the object of the game is, you know, the, the day is over when you're just going to let people gonna let you just run shot free unless they blow an assignment. But, you know, if we can get people in the one-on-one -on -one situation and if we win the battle, because uh, we're supposed to be better now, they, they have a chance to, to make a name for themselves. I don't know, maybe too early for film study for North Carolina, but what do you know about their left tackle? You know, supposed to be pretty... I hadn't even looked at it. You know, again, I've, I've studied North Carolina, but not by player or position. I spent you know a couple of weeks this summer breaking down what they do on offense. And, uh, you know, they're going to have uh, some talented football players. I understand the left tackle from Coach Adams. He's supposed to be a good player, and so. You know, J.D. has faced a lot of good football players. I feel like the guy that was at Michigan is probably the best tackle he faced other than the guy at Tennessee. And so, you know, he's played against good football players, and he better expect to play against good players all year. And, uh, you know, but, you know, if he does what he's supposed to do, technique fundamentally, he'll have a chance to break them down. If not, then they might get the best of him.